But now to the wild weather in Southern California overnight. That startling video of all the lights going out at LAX, leaving passengers stranded in the dark after massively destructive winds tore through that region. ABC's Ginger VZ has the latest on all that. Good morning, Ginger. That was something. It sure was. And you can't officially call it hurricane force, but the impact is just as powerful. Fierce wind gusts over 100 miles an hour ripped through California, taking down trees and knocking out power to at least 75,000. I've never heard them talk about 80 per mile hour gusts, usually, you know, 40, 50, 60. I haven't heard 80, but that's kind of a scary thought. Look at the view from this camera at Los Angeles International Airport, shaking in the wind. And then the field goes completely dark. One of the nation's busiest airports shut down. Flights diverted, passengers stranded, lights out at LAX. It seems like everything stopped. You were just forced to a sudden halt. The most powerful winds California has seen in 10 years. Banning the flames of this brush fire in Occidental, prompting evacuations, and the LA Fire Department is preparing for the worst. When you get 60, 70, 80 mile an hour winds, it's going to be very difficult to stop. We basically um, have um, everything ready on the garage for any kind of emergency. A total of nine states are under a wind warning and advisory. And in the Midwest, a winter storm brought heavy snow, causing power outages in Michigan and causing this gas station to collapse.